Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Aze, and today I'm showing you my updated no heat damage blow dry routine for maximum hair growth. This is legit the best blow dry I have ever done. Had I known I could get my hair blow dry this quickly and this straight, I would have shared this routine a long time ago. And the only reason why it's not straighter is because I'm not looking to silk press, but if I did want to silk press, it would be the silkiest silk press I've ever done. This routine minimizes excessive breakage and shedding, which are both key to retaining length and growing your hair longer, as I have done since the last time I blow dried and silk pressed. The picture is the last time I blow dried and silk pressed, and this video was recorded literally between last Thursday and Friday. So as you can see, I went from tailbone length to butt cheek length. So not only have I retained length, but I've grown my hair even longer lovelies if you want to know how we grow our hair so quickly make sure to grab our digital guide the lovelies who bought it are now learning how to accelerate their hair growth and even reach one inch plus of hair growth per month with our exclusive hair growth recipes techniques and our exclusive step-by-step -step natural hair growth plan as well as bonus materials that the guide comes with trust me y'all it's worth it we made sure of that so make sure to grab that guide if you also want to accelerate your hair growth and unlock one inch plus of hair growth a month. You can find it linked in the comments and in the description. Also, if you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're hearing, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any sales, giveaways, or any of our lit content that gives you exactly what you need to love your natural hair and grow it longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger. And without further ado, let's hop right into this video. Alright lovelies, I already did the majority of my hair and these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a spray bottle, conditioner, a oil with a high smoke point, heat protectant, I'm using this one from IC Fantasia, a blow dryer with a comb attachment and or a standard comb. You're going to begin by wetting your section. As you all know, when it comes to detangling, water is the best detangling agent. It's going to make whatever conditioner, leave-in conditioner, or detangling product you put on top of it work even better because warm water in a spray bottle will help loosen up those tangles. After you spray down your section, you're going to go in with enough con with as much conditioner as you need to detangle, okay? There really isn't a limit on how much conditioner you put because especially if you have coarse, forcey hair like I do, you're going to need a lot. So don't be alarmed use what you need to get those tangles to easily come out with a lot of slip now as you can see here i'm just doing what i need to do detangling this is what i call the pull apart method where i go ahead to the tangle and i just pull the tangles apart that really helps with getting the tangles out easily and minimizing breakage and shedding as i said before this routine significantly minimizes excessive breakage and shedding soon you're going to be able to begin combing your hair through your section like butter but sometimes you're going to come across a tangle or two that you missed so don't be alarmed as girlies before see hair sometimes you're going to miss a tangle or two and that's okay because with this routine you need to catch as many tangles as possible after water and conditioner, you're going to seal in all that moisture with your oil with a high smoke point of choice. I am going in with olive oil. I love olive oil. She's my day one. She's never switched up on me. She's never harmed me in any way. So that's what I always use. As you are putting the oil through your hair, you do want to comb it through the section with your fingers. And like I said, if you come across another tangle or two, that's great because it's going to make sure that for this next step you have as little tangles as possible. Next you're going to grab your comb attachment and or your standard comb. And What I mean by standard comb is not wide tooth and not rat tail, but a comb with regularly spaced teeth. This is extremely important because it's going to help your comb attachment glide much more easily through your section and as girlies with coarse hair, I'm guessing you have coarse hair if you're watching this video, 
that is going to really help us get an even blow dry and make sure our blow dry is as silky as possible especially if you're going to do a silk press after this routine you're going to take that comb and or your comb attachment and detangle your hair as you're seeing me do now which is the reason why i said when you're finger detangling it's important to get as many of the tangles out because that comb is going to catch even more which like i said is important in order to get the most even silky blow dry as possible now just because you picked up that comb that doesn't mean you have to be afraid to use your fingers again if some of those tangles are being stubborn don't revert back to your old ways when you're using a comb you get to a stubborn knot you just rip the comb through because that is exactly how you break your hair off you cause excessive breakage and shedding and how you stop yourself from retaining length you do not need to be manhandling your beautiful soft and delicate natural hair okay when you pick up the comb and there are some tangles that are just too stubborn do as I did and finger detangle those knots and then you can pick the comb back up and get back to detangling with ease with the comb as you're seeing me do now now I'm not having as much problem getting that comb through my section and you're going to continue detangling until you are able to go from your roots all the way down to your ends in one full swoop and that's how you know you are ready to begin blow drying this this right here is exactly what you're looking for my girlies with coarse 4c 4b hair okay this is what you're looking for if you are going to do this routine now you are ready to hit your hair with the heat protectant look i have dense hair okay i'm not one of those people that's how much i'm using initially but I'm not one of those people who, oh yeah, all you need is a drop. Look, I'm also not a professional hairstylist, okay? Maybe, you know, the hairstylist knows something we don't. Maybe these products are much more stronger than we think. But I don't be afraid to use a little extra because my hair is so dense. I mean, you know, I think you should use what is appropriate what you think is appropriate for you my hair is extremely dense so yeah I use a little extra and honestly my blow dry came out amazing so I think that you should definitely use what you think is appropriate for you when you're doing this blow dry routine if your hair is a little thinner use a little less if your hair is thicker than mine use a little more but regardless of whatever you do put on the heat protectant and then take your comb and your and or your comb attachment and go ahead and comb through that heat protectant throughout the entire section after you've done all that it's time to grab your blow dryer i'm using this one from kiss and i'm going to put it on warm and then i'm going to put the fan up too high okay you're now going to smooth all of your hair and get a nice grip on it on your ends and you're going to begin blow drying beginning at your roots you are not going to let that hand that you have on your ends you're not going to let your ends go okay it's going to stay in this pulled position for a good minute you're going to go up and down the length of your section starting at your roots then going down to the middle you're not really going to worry about your ends and that's because of what we're going to do in the next step but for right now let's just get a nice general blow dry this is what i would call this step doing a general blow dry before you go in with the comb attachment to get the smooth silky blow dry that we're looking for trust me it's all going to come together with this last step but first let's get our general blow dry going it doesn't have to be blow dry all the way so you don't need to spend too long blow drying this section especially with the hair dryer that i'm using it dries pretty quickly so you want to check every couple of seconds to see how much your hair has dried because that is going to determine when to put your comb attachment on if your hair looks like this it's time to put on the comb attachment you're going to now go through your ends and you're going to go slowly that's how you're going to get a nice silky blow dry okay there's no need to be combing 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 really like through it really quickly you want to go slowly 
Now you're going to work your way up through the section. You're going to do the same thing, but to the middle, okay? And then after you do a couple of passes going through the middle, notice that I was not going from the middle to my ends. I, I did my ends, I'm doing my middle, now I'm inching my way up to the roots. You want to do your blow dry in short sections like this because you don't want to dry your hair out so quickly and give your give yourself heat damage. You want to do it section by section and that is what's going to help you get a nice silky blow dry. After you've worked your way up from your ends to your middle, you're now going to do those short sections at your roots and you don't have to worry about going from roots to ends and if you are struggling through a section because your hair is gaining volume as you are blow drying don't be afraid to separate it into two comb out whatever tangles there may be and then continue blow drying from there but again I'm stressing the short bursts of blow drying you don't have to go from root to end that entire time especially because your ends are so dry and fragile already you don't have to do multiple passes on them your roots in your middle is really what's going to determine how flat your silk press is at home so you can get to your ends and continue doing passes through your ends after you get your roots in your middle blow dry once your roots and your middle section is on the same page as your ends then you can do a full pass from root to tip with the blow dryer but until you get those roots in that middle blow dry there isn't a need to go from roots to ends roots to ends every if you're trying to just blow dry your middle or blow dry your roots blow dry your ends then blow dry your middle then blow dry your roots and then at the very end go from roots two ends like I'm doing right now and that's what's going to help you if you need to do your ends again you can do it in those final stages but don't do it all together because that will increase your chances of getting heat damage okay so now like I said now that my ends are blow dry my middle is blow dry and my roots are blow dry I'm going to go through the entire section and go from root to ends I'm not doing a silk press but if you are continue until you get your hair your hair is dang near silk pressed it looks silk pressed because that is what's going to be key to you getting a bomb silk press but for me because I'm not doing a silk press where I am now is perfect and this is what my hair looks like this is literally the best blow dry I've done this is not a sponsored video by the way um, I'm just really surprised with how well the kiss blow dryer and the comb attachment performed on my extremely coarse extremely dense 4c natural hair um yes my hair is oily so like i said if you want to use less oil or less heat protectant um you can do that but i use it as a protectant like i'm i like to use the oil and the heat protectant as a way to prevent me from getting heat damage along with the techniques that i explained about blow drying in general so I say all that to say that is it now I'm doing another length check I'm showing you that even though I'm short and my height stops at the middle of the door my hair makes up for the rest of that height again if you want to know how to grow your hair like this and quickly make sure to grab our digital guide it literally comes with a plan our exclusive recipes our exclusive techniques and bonus materials on how you can accelerate your hair growth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And until next time, lovelies, bye.